Well, pop icon Madonna has given a historic performance for a huge crowd of fans at Brazil's famous Copacabana Beach. Now, the pop idol pulled out all the stops with dozens of costumes and set changes as she sang hits from her 40-year career. The concert was the crowning touch to her worldwide celebration tour. It was the biggest concert of her career. As Madonna performed to an estimated 1.6 million fans on Brazil's iconic Copacabana Beach, the free event was both a thank you to her fans and the epic conclusion of her celebration tour that started in London last year. Anticipation in Rio had been building for days, and fans said Madonna did not disappoint. It was an unimaginable experience, out of the ordinary. I've never attended such a powerful show. It was fabulous. I think she delivered a high-level show. It had an excellent production value. It was a gift for Brazil. 18 sound towers were erected along the beach to ensure everyone could hear her iconic hits, including Like a Prayer and Holiday. In true Madonna style, the concert started almost an hour late at a little after 10.30 at night. But the crowd appeared happy to wait to experience one of the world's biggest ever concerts and party late into the night with the legendary Queen of Pop. We can speak now to journalist Gary Nunn, who is in Buenos Aires, but he was in Rio for the concert. Gary, I wonder if you've had any sleep over the last day. Uh, you've tweeted, I've never seen an atmosphere like this. Just talk us through how the night was for you and what you experienced. Oh, it was electric. Um, I had never experienced anything like it because really the the performance and the spectacle didn't start last night on Saturday night. It started from the minute I walked into Rio de Janeiro airport. Um, there were um, there was uh, Madonna songs playing um, in the airport. There was Madonna symbolism everywhere, Madonna iconography everywhere. Every bar was playing her videos. Every clothes shop had uh, merchandise. Uh, I bought some myself, which we might be. So everyone had really got behind Madonna in a way I hadn't seen before because I had actually gone to see this tour in London as well. And um, in London it was a fantastic tour, but it was nothing like this in terms of the entire city, um, all just representing Madonna in every single shop, every single restaurant, every mm. single cafe. The whole, the whole city just buzzing with excitement for days before she even got onto the stage. And, and talk to us about the concert itself, because it really do, did look like she just gave it her all. Yeah, she did. Um, I mean, she, obviously she, she knew she was probably about to break some records. Uh, Madonna has always taken risks with her career. Um, this was a free concert, so I think the, the, the atmosphere amongst the Brazilians was a lot of gratitude. You saw a lot of posters around the city. I mean, Madonna was emblazoned on every billboard, um, but a lot of the posters were saying in Portuguese, thank you, Madonna, thank you for coming here and um, performing for free for us. Obviously, a lot of people couldn't pay um, the kind of costs that it would usually uh, it would usually cost people to go and see a concert like that. So they're incredibly grateful for um, it being free. Um, but it was also on the sand, so we took our shoes off, we took our socks off, we were dancing barefoot. Uh, Brazilians are obviously known to like to party. Uh, they did not let us down last night. So Madonna was kind of the, the main performer, but the, for me, it was uh, seeing the Brazilians really get into it. it was all part of the spectacle and the performance itself. And also 
there's a certain type of person that's a Madonna fan. You know, Madonna <laughs> has uh, taught us to express ourselves, not repress ourselves. And, you know, and to have absolutely no regrets when someone's told us that we are too female or too opinionated or too gay or too outspoken or we've gone too far this time. You know, and so I saw someone with that emblazoned uh, across his T-shirt, absolutely no regrets, those famous three words from her Human Nature song. And so it was that, it was all those kind of outspoken people who'd flown from all over the world to be with these crazy party in Brazilians together. I mean, you can just imagine, it's a certain type of person that likes Madonna yeah. and that, that, has, that has stuck with Madonna through all four decades of her incredible career so put all those people in one of the uh, most beautiful cities in the world and yeah i just didn't want to come home i wanted to <laughs> stay there it was it was the most incredible atmosphere gary nunn in buenos aires thank you so much for that take care pleasure